The history of the Colombian village Zapaquira is written in salt. For 400 years, salt has been taken from this mountain behind the village. Today, the salt mine is one of the largest and most modern in the world, but the work is still dangerous. Many have died for these salt blocks. At first, the salt was cut out by hand with primitive tools. The miners faced short and hazardous lives. In some cases, being sent to the mines was a death sentence for criminals. The old days are long gone, but the dangers are still there. Even modern tools haven't made the mines completely safe. Cave-ins, explosions, poison gas, and injury from machines are common occurrences. The drill, which cuts the salt, could also open a pocket of lethal gases. When that kind of danger is near, so is religion. From the days of the Spaniards, 400 years ago, the men who worked the mines prayed before entering the dark pits. Each ton of salt removed from the unforgiving mountain exacted a toll in human pain. But the work continued, and still continues. The salt is a major source of income for this Latin American country. But more than salt emerged from the mines. With the danger, the miners developed a deep, simple faith in God. By the 1930s, underground chapels were everywhere in the shafts. Simple, hand-carved altars such as this inspired the mine owners to expand on the idea. Instead of makeshift crude constructions, why not make a real church consecrated by the Pope in Rome? Well, the idea caught on, and construction began in 1950. By 1954, what had started out as a simple church became a world-famous cathedral and the biggest tourist attraction in Colombia. The underground cathedral. 25,000 square feet of space, equal to Notre Dame in size and grandeur. The main arch is 240 feet high. The aisle is 384 feet long. And most amazing of all, the whole structure is carved from salt. The cathedral is a worldwide tourist attraction, and a flavorful one. Very few can avoid the temptation to taste. But the true attraction of the cathedral is the art. Even the magnificent staircase that leads to the main portion of the cathedral has been carved from salt. Where possible, church decoration is made to blend with the salt walls. The whole effect is one of religious grandeur, while always being reminded of the mine that surrounds the cathedral. The salt is always present. And the main purpose of the cathedral is, and always has been, a place for the miners to pray and meditate before facing the dangers below. From the humble beginnings of crude salt crosses to a magnificent cathedral, one of the wonders of the world. And we explored it because you asked for it.